Brody, can you take us a little bit inside the uh, kind of the psyche, the collective psyche, I guess, of the team? With it, it feels like there's a little bit of there's a fair amount of dis- yeah. disappointment coming off of the playoff series, but there were also some pretty good accomplishments. I think this year, top three in the West and back in the Champions Cup and all that. Yeah, so, I mean, I think obviously we're disappointed with the way the season ended. Um, we envisioned lifting a trophy at the end of the year um so we didn't reach our goals there but i think you know we did have a lot of highs this season we qualified for conga calf scored a ton of goals had some good performances at home um but ultimately i think we fell short of our our main goal which was to win the championship what does your off season look like from here because it's Longer than expected, also shorter than expected because of that that quick turnaround in Champions Cup play and, and everything. So, what does kind of your off season look like? Yeah, I think it's you know rest up for you know a couple weeks, uh, let the body kind of recharge and reset again, and then it's you know back to work trying to maintain fitness. You don't want to lose too much of it heading into next year. You want to come back sharp and in a good spot physically. So, I think it's you know just about preparing for next season because we know it kind of does start early with, early with Concacaf. Um, just making sure you're in the right place come come January. How would you best describe this group? Because it's professional sports. I mean, we're not naive enough to to think that everything's going to be exactly the same next year. There's always, whether it's turnover or change or tweaks, formational, whatever it is. But how would you kind of describe this group, this year's team? Yeah, you know, I think this group uh, was tight knit. Um, we. Uh, I think we were exciting at times, you know, especially early in the year. Um, I think it was a fun style of football that we played, um, you know, towards the middle of the year. I think we kind of lost that a little bit, um, and then we kind of found it again towards the end of the year. I think we, you know, finished with uh, five, six games unbeaten. So I think uh, going into the playoffs, we were in a good spot there. Um, and then ultimately, you know, two penalty kick shootouts, you, you lose. I mean, nothing you could do about that. Um, yeah, tough way to go. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I asked Justin this as well. If you could describe the, the season in one word, what, what word would you use? I'd probably go with incon- inconsistent. Um, I think we had a lot of highs and lows this year. Um, we, we started off hot uh, and pretty consistent, and then we kind of lost our way a little bit, couldn't find it. Um, Found it again briefly. It felt like, and then, like I said, ultimately lost in, lost in pens. But it just felt like there were a lot of ups and downs this year, which there always are. You know, it's a it's a long season. You battle adversity the the, the whole way. Um, but I, you know, I think you know, especially in that summer stretch, I think we lost a little bit of consistency there. And then for you individually, um, we kind of talked about how many changes the back line went through. A lot of you guys come in. You spend some time. Uh, on, on the bench and coming in as a sub as well. What was that like to maybe have have your role change a little bit uh, this season? Yeah, I think I've played you know some right back and left back again this year, um, which I'm comfortable with as always. You know, it's just more wherever I'm needed, uh, I'm ready to play. Uh, if coach coach wants me to start the game, come into the game as a sub, just try to make an impact wherever I can, whether that's coming in or start the game. So I think it's just about being ready and um, if my number's called, then go out there and do what I can do. Hey, Brody, uh, thanks for your time. Uh, right off that question, moving to different positions as you did throughout this year, do you enjoy playing in those different spots? I remember there was a point, too, where you were kind of at that left-back spot, pushing further up in more of an attacking role as well. Do you appreciate having your role change as often as it did this year, or is it hard to find a, a little bit of consistency in it? No, I, I don't mind. Um, you know, obviously, I'm more of an attack-minded player, so I do like to you know, get forward, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm a team guy first and foremost, wherever, wherever I'm needed, uh, I feel confident that I can go do a job and, you know, just try to help the team, keep the team win at whatever position that is, whether that's right back, left back, subbing into a game at right mid, late, when we have a lead, try to protect it, um, so I think it's just about just being ready and uh, first and foremost, I want to help the team. I'm sure you have a relationship with the other guys that kind of play your same position. Can you describe to me how the competition for the outside back spots were this year? Yeah, I think it was high competition the whole year. Um, we 
we have a lot of good pieces there at left back and right back now and a lot of depth so it's just about that it's all friendly competition you know we're all we all like each other you know there's no fights in the locker room about that but um it's just about pushing one another one another to be better each day um and, and knowing that whoever gets selected on match day the others are rooting for you you know nobody wants to see their teammates go out there and fail you know we all we all want to succeed i want to see my friends succeed so um i think it's just friendly competition and competition that's that makes us all better thanks brody appreciate it thanks brody thank you guys appreciate you